Hi, I'm Amanda and welcome to The Hot Plate. Today we're going to be getting steamy in the kitchen making scallion and brie mashed potatoes from our cookbook. Definitely leave the skin on if you like a rustic mash. Now to cut it into a nice dice, I like to cut it in a thirds lengthwise and then in half again and then all you have to do is slice back through it. So we're going to get our potatoes cut up into a one inch dice and then we're going to be popping them into cold water so that all the potatoes cook at exactly the same time. We're now going to salt our water and then bring it up to high heat. Now to make sure that we keep the potatoes hot after they've been cooked and drained, the best thing to do is to put our one cup of 2% milk, we want to keep it really rich and creamy, into a saucepan and set it over low heat. The idea is not to let it boil because it will boil over, it's just to heat it through so that it doesn't change the temperature of the mash and make it gummy. Now to put the scallion in this brie and scallion mashed potato, we do have four scallions. Now these are young onions and they look like this. The way we want to use these is to take off any of the little scraggly bits that are hanging on to it. We're only going to be using the white and the light green parts. So to give you an example, we are going to cut off the stalk end here which has the roots. And then we are going to take our knife and just very thinly slice through it. When you get up to the dark greens, you're going to stop. Run your knife through it until you've got a fine chop. Once the potatoes have boiled for about 25 minutes, we're going to drain them. We're going to put our drained mashed potatoes back into the pot because what that means is that all the extra liquid from the potatoes is going to evaporate with the heat. We're then going to add our scallions, our brie, and our warm 2% milk, season it up with a little bit of salt and pepper, and start mashing. And mash and mash and mash until it's the right consistency for you. On to my favorite part, the tasting. I'm going to get a nice scoop. It's so beautiful because it's studded with all the scallions, but you can really smell that rich creaminess from the brie. Mmm. All right, let's give these a try. Woo, they're steaming. Mmm. Oh, you get that tanginess from the brie, but that little bit of zing of onion from the scallion. This is a rich, delicious side dish that pairs great with just about anything. So make sure to give it a try with some of your holiday favorites or just a nice Sunday night dinner. Thanks very much for watching The Hot Plate and make sure to check out all of our episodes at thehotplate.net and in our cookbook.